Hello everyone. Uh, today we would like to show you how to activate an Agris T4D drone. Uh, like any other DJI, by pressing once on the power button, you can see the battery percentage. Four batteries almost full. So we, to turn on the remote controller, we press once and press and hold. So we choose the language, terms and condition, we agree. United States has been selected because we are located in Riverside, California. And the Wi-Fi is, you need to connect to a Wi-Fi. Now we are connected to the Wi-Fi and uh, we press next. The time we will set it to Pacific, Pacific time because we are, this is our time. Okay, you need to choose your time, your time zone. Um, yep, confirm, support, at talosdrones.com login activate the remote controller there's a guide on how to use it so as it says here, it says blinks blue linking with aircraft, blinks yellow, low battery warning, blinks cyan pattern, control sticks not centered, and uh, blinks uh, red critical low battery warning. Solid red, uh, solid red aircraft not connected. That is what it is right now. Solid green, aircraft connected. Solid yellow, uh, firmware update failed. Here it's going over uh, some of the buttons. Buttons will be supported in later version. This one, although it is already uh, available for pausing an operation. Uh, customization will be supported in a later version again. It's saying that and RTH return to home button. Press and hold to enable smart return to home. So this button, you need to hold it for like about a second, then your drone will come back home automatically. Power. This is the power button that we use to turn on the remote controller. Side buttons, view details of the button functions in DJI Agress. These ones, these buttons here, you can customize them as well. So now it's referring to uh, the buttons at the top, the name of them. Uh, yeah, so the spray spread button, it's, it looks like a record button here. You can see that. And FPV, FPV stands for the FPV camera and map switch button. It switches between the FPV camera and uh, uh, basically the map. So either the map is bigger and FPV camera view is small or the map is small, FPV view, the live view of the camera is bigger and uh, it shows that this wheel here controls the gimbal of the drone, it adjusts uh, the gimbal tilt and the spray uh, 
rate dial. If you're spraying manually with this one, you can control the flow rate, how many liters or gallons per minute. So now it's referring to the buttons at the back. Again, those are customizable buttons here. And also while we are at it, uh, at, if you press this one forward, you can see where your external battery goes. You press it in and slide it in. And if you want to connect the dongle, you will need to open these two screws, open this door and connect your dongle to the remote controller to use a SIM card to have data on your remote controller. So, yep, back to the tutorial. This is what we just uh, talked about, where the external battery goes at the back and uh, 4G network adapter or dongle uh, is where it goes and gets connected. You will need a small screwdriver to open those screws first. So uh, here we can see that it's telling us, um, so home, this one here. On the T20 and T6, uh, T20, yeah, and T30, uh, they had the same button that you could uh, program it. So it says if you move it up, it's going to home, shortcut settings, recent. This is a very important uh, part. You always want this surface of the, either the front or the back being used for uh, having the best uh, connection to your aircraft. A lot of people think it transmits the data from here, but no, it's being transmitted this way. And now we go to DJI Agress app. We need to turn these on because these devices, they have GPS and it needs permission from you. And we join the user improvement plan. And here you can choose if you already have an account and different teams, you can just choose that to have drones. So it's very similar uh, to the previous models. You can see at the top, we have the settings. This is where the uh, fields will be saved, the drone, and uh, it shows the different versions, version of the remote controller. Well, if the drone was linked to it, it would show the remote, the aircraft's uh, firmware as well. So another way to go to that page is by clicking on that cube. Press begin. This here will show you different modes, fruit tree mode, manual plus, manual, route, uh, AB route, route mapping if you want to create a fruit tree 3D map with the new camera that is on the Agress T40, you can use that. But for now, uh, we just press back. This is, this used to be called the execute task page. This is where you can see a lot of settings that uh, your drone should be on to be able to adjust a lot of these settings here. And the spotlight, let's, if we press on, it says connect to aircraft. So the next step for us would be to link the aircraft to the remote controller to activate the aircraft as well. To turn on the drone, you will just need to press once and press and hold. And your, now your drone is on. So if you turn on your drone and uh, your drone is not linked or pre-linked, you can go to begin. back settings and then the remote controller category you press linking and then you will go and press and hold the power button on the drone for about uh, five seconds
Nah, their drone is in the linking mode. No more liquid payload. And it is Layer linked. Fasten all arm locks securely to prevent potential safety risks. Obstacle above aircraft. Fly with caution. So as you can see. Upward obstacle avoidance enabled. So as you can see now that the drone Upward is linked. Avoidance enabled. This is green. It shows that the aircraft is linked. Aircraft. Go back. Fly with caution. So now the drone is linked and uh, we have the activation option. We press activate aircraft. It requires us to put a dongle in the system, in the remote controller. Yeah, so uh, when we want to put the dongle uh, when we want to connect the dongle to the remote controller, we need to put a SIM card on it and uh, I will be using a T-Mobile SIM card that I took out of my phone. So I just open this part and uh, you can follow the symbol here. Just push it in. good to go then we connect this side here so it's red but we will wait until uh, it changes the, the LED's color that happens when uh, it's using the SIM card's data yep start blinking so we'll wait and now it is green. Yeah, so this means that it is using the SIM card. So we can close this one, but since I want it for just for the activation at the moment, I don't put the screws back, close it. I will go here, go back. I will press this to go back to the homepage and now I will press activate aircraft and you can see we don't get that error anymore. So then again, we have terms and conditions. We agree to the privacy policy as well. And this is our email support at talosdrones.com. Uh, so we press next, you will name your aircraft you can name it anything you want um, sorry yeah i wanted to type agress and then a t40 t40 so you you want to keep the mode as mode 2 the default mode and you press yes and now your uh, drone is activated Perfect. So now the drone is activated. You can see here that it says firmware update available. Uh, you can click on this. And so we still see the acti activate button here, but we it's not a problem when you turn off your drone and turn it back on and every, everything will be fine. So which right now it is fine already. So. It's showing the different firmware, the latest firmware for the RC or remote controller and the firmware for the drone. The green is the firmware that you can go to and the white one at the top is the current firmware of the aircraft or the remote controller. And all you need to do is to press update all and it will update the uh, firmware for you. Um, again, and you can see something here there's an error. You do not have permission for this aircraft. Contact, contact the administrator. You can log out by 
clicking on the person symbol here, exit, yes, and log back in, Dallas Jones. So after you log back in, that error is gone. So we are good to go. You can press begin. Fasten all on lock and, securely uh, to prevent choose manual, for example, risks. here. Yep. And Obstacle um, above aircraft. here is Fly some tutorial caution. as well. Okay, sounds good. That is all. The drone has been activated. Thank you.